Hello, this is video demonstration of Wireshark Inject tool on securitytube.net. In this video, I will be talking about how to inject wireless packet with the help of Wireshark Inject on wireless site. So first, let's go ahead and start Wireshark Inject tool. Currently, I am using Backtrack 2 distribution. So I am having Wireshark and Wireshark Inject as a separate tools. But in newer versions of Wireshark, Wireshark Inject is already integrated with Wireshark tool. So uh, now I have started the Wireshark. Let me go ahead and start the wireless capture. Now I have already set my interface ATH0 in monitor mode, which is a promiscuous mode and the interface is up. It is locked on some channel. Uh, there's actually no need to lock the interface on channel. You can even sniff all the channels by switching on every channel. So I am I have started the capture and my interface is capturing the packets and Wireshark is showing the packets on the screen. Wireshark inject is a plugin over Wireshark you can think of. Uh, now I am stopping the capture. Wireshark is a network protocol analyzer tool while Wireshark inject helps the network packets to be injected on wireless side. So now I have captured some packets. Okay. Now, for using this Wireshark inject, I will simply have to right click on the packet and send Wi-Fi frame. Now, when I click on send Wi-Fi frame, a separate menu or separate tab opens up. Now, here I can able to see the whole packet, the prism header, the IEEE 802.11 header, its LAN management frames. If it would have been a data packet, then data payload would have been shown if uh, since it's a pro it's a management packet i'm able to see other ssids and other tags now for injecting the packet it's very simple you just have to give the interface on which you want to inject currently my interface is ath0 so i have given ath0 then the driver type uh, currently i'm using a atheros based card and i'm using mad wifi ng drivers so here I have to sub here I am supposed to give the driver type, the interface, and the channel on which I am I want to inject this packet. Say I want to inject this packet on channel 11. I am giving channel 11 and then just simple send frames. And now Wireshark inject is going ahead and sending the wireless uh, sending the frame on wireless side. Okay, I can stop the cap. I, I can stop the injection. There are few other configuration options like frames per second how many frames I want to inject per second I can mention here and how many times the same packet has to be re-injected I have to mention here so if I mention 2 and frames per second 10 and such 10 frames I have to transmit 2 times and if I say start frame it will go ahead and send 2, two frames or 2 uh, bunches of 10 frames and stop similarly i can use the continuous option if i want to send so many packet continuously the continuous option and type and the times option are of course the continuous option and time options are the radio buttons you cannot choose both of them of course you <laughs> will not be willing to uh, the, with the help of continuous options so many frames per second will be sent continuously the frame length also you can modify now the beauty of this Wireshark inject tool the edit frame function now with the help of edit frame function the already captured frame can be even edited now uh, here I can see the Wireshark protocol analyzer view so I am able to see the frame control all the bits and pieces of the frame which flags are enabled etc etc and then destination address source address bss id fragment number sequence number everything is there now with the help of edit frame i can edit the frame see now uh, in this case my destination address is all fffff it's a broadcast address now say i want to change this broadcast address to some unicast address now I just have to locate this address in this frame and I have to re-inject that packet. Okay. So now my 8080. So 
I just have to locate it here. So he, he, here it comes 8000 now and these are all FFFF okay. Now if I say I want to send this packet to 00112233445 and you can see the destination address here also gets updated and now simply I have to click send frames and Wireshark will go ahead and keep on sending those many packets continuously. That's the beauty of this tool. Now the possible uses of this Wireshark inject can be for the attackers or for some malicious users if they capture one packet and if they want to send the same packet again and again on the wireless channel they can use that. Again for wireless programmers many times for testing some tools or for verifying some results you have to transmit same packet again and again on wireless channel and Wireshark inject is very hand handy tool. Many times you don't have to code or many times you don't want to code the small packet but you have that pcap file format and you want to inject same packet with the help of Wireshark inject you can simply capture or you or you can simply open any file with the help of Wireshark inject and same and send the packet on wireless side continuously okay that's it about this video thank you